the one thing that the world is conducting so fast right now is tests. There are so many health tests regarding health conditions and diseases. There are tests that can be conducted at your home, tests that you have to get conducted and go to laboratories for that. But there were certainly some secret with our ancestors that they didn't have to get tested at all. They somehow came to know by just studying their body and its processes that they were not well. So that secret comes from an ancient Indian text which is named Swadhin Swasthya Mahavidya. The phrase goes like Dehe Sarvatra Choshnasya Samata Laghavam Sukham Kshut Tikshna Gaad Nidra Cha Manaso Api Prasannata Sharire Karma Samarthyam Analasya Cha Karmasu Svataha Svedo Gamaha Kale Swasthatam Lakshayanti Hi so that means that there are some symptoms that signal towards health and the absence of disease. The first symptom is regular bowel movement. Well, I don't know if you expected it to top the list or you did not. But emptying of bowels completely and at a regular time is actually a symptom of good health. For those people who are not able to empty their bubbles, they are not just constipated, but they are also having some diseases that may or may not be apparent. Symptom number two is a normal body weight or the absence of obesity. We all are different. I agree that I'm not here to body shame anyone, but the absence of overweight is certainly uh, a symptom of health because the fat or the body mass that's not needed by the body is definitely a trouble for the body and the heart has to work hard for it. Symptom number three, skin is clear and radiant. Well, I'm not saying that if you're dark or you have to achieve a certain complexion, that's not what I'm saying, but the absence of acne and the absence of excess dead skin cells on the body is a symptom of health because like I said in the previous point that people who are not able to empty their bowels are not just said to be constipated but they also have toxins accumulated in their bowels which then travel to the rest of the body and show up as acne or bumps or rashes. Symptom number four, the absence of laziness, by which I mean that activity, being active and enthusiastic all the time is definitely the best symptom of health. Oh, the best is yet to come, but this is a good signal of health. Symptom number five, proper hunger. The feeling of hunger or appetite is definitely very, very important. If you're never feeling hungry and you're just feeling full and still you're having meals just because it's the time to have them, this is a wrong practice and it doesn't only make you sicker, it already means that you're sick because it's a way of our stomach to signal health. If you're not getting hungry enough, then you certainly need to cleanse your body. Symptom number six, deep sleep, fast sleep. It is very, very important. Do you remember anything that uh, when we were younger, we would, we would fall asleep on the sofa, on the couch, on the mat, carpet, wherever, and our parents would lift us up and put us into our beds. And in the morning, we were not aware of what happened in the night because we were not ill or sick back then. We were not constipated. We were not throwing tantrums about what food you don't want to eat and lots of things so a healthy person is able to get good sound sleep and don't we all envy the people that fall asleep as soon as they go to bed well they are the healthiest of us all symptom number seven no pains in the body absence of any pain stiffness or soreness in the body is actually a sign that most of us don't have yes Whenever our body is 
troubled or tortured by us by wrong postures wrong diets or nutritional deficiencies then our body tells us that please stop torturing me it then pains so when our body is painful at some places it's telling us that something is wrong please do something about it and the last and the best most important symptom is a positive attitude happiness remember what i said in the shlok that is manaso api prasannata which means that you're not just physically good but you're also happy you have just a sense of that contentment of doing all activities so that is i think the most important symptom because if that is with you the rest of them can all the rest of them will automatically fall in place so another point that is when you're healthy you're definitely having good levels of immunity i wanted to include immunity in this because this is trending right now the people who are falling sick repeatedly they're not able to recover completely from any illness they're lacking in immunity their immune mechanism is not functioning properly so immunity and health go hand in hand and they affect each other the person who is not healthy is going to have a bad immunity and the person who doesn't have an efficient immunity is going to fall ill so that was it did you okay so that was it these were the symptoms of good health how many of them do you have be honest to yourself and assess yourself without any lab kits or lab visits whatever stay healthy stay happy